In this video, we will differentiate sin of x plus y is equal to ln of x minus y. So here we can see that uh, we cannot express y explicitly over here. So we will use the technique of implicit differentiation. So in order to differentiate this equation, we will apply the derivative on both sides of the equation that is d by dx of sin of x plus y is equal to d by dx of ln of x minus y. Now we know that the derivative of sine is cos. So we will write cos of x plus y multiply by the derivative of x plus y. And then the derivative of ln is ln of something is 1 upon something. So we can write L, uh, the derivative of ln of x minus y is equal to 1 upon x minus y and then we will multiply it by the derivative of the inside of ln so we have d by dx of x minus y now we have cos of x plus y and here we will apply the derivative on both terms so we have d by dx of x plus dy by dx and then we have 1 upon x minus y multiply by d by dx of x minus d y by dx now we have cos of x plus y the derivative of x is 1 so we have 1 plus dy by dx inside the bracket and here we have 1 upon x minus y the derivative of x is 1 minus dy by dx now we will expand these brackets so we have cos of x plus y multiplied by 1 is equal to cos of x plus y plus cos of x plus y dy by dx and then 1 upon x minus y multiplied by 1 is again 1 upon x minus y and 1 upon x minus y multiplied by minus dy so we have minus 1 upon x minus y dy by dx now this equation can be written as cos of x plus y dy by dx and we can take this term on this side so we have plus 1 upon x plus y sorry x minus y dy by dx is equal to 1 upon x minus y and we can take this cos on the other side so we have minus cos of x plus y now we can take dy by dx common so we have cos of x plus y plus 1 upon x minus y multiply by dy by dx and then on this side we have 1 upon x minus y minus cos of x plus y now we can take now we can simplify this expression so we have x minus y times cos of x plus y plus 1 upon x minus y multiply by dy by dx and over here we have 1 minus x minus y times cos of x plus y upon x minus y now if x minus y is not equal to 0 so we can cancel these factors and we have x minus y times cos of x plus y and plus 1 
dy by dx and on the other side we can write 1 minus x minus y multiply by cos of x plus y now we can take this vector on the other side so we have dy by dx is equal to 1 minus x minus y cos of x plus y and this vector can be written as 1 plus x plus x minus y multiply by cos of x plus y so this is the answer of the given equation